Hello, how are you? Sorry, but I'm ha I'm going to have to post this video before I post my video on the Feast of Trumpets. This is an urgent matter. In my last videos, I video I did explain that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is stepping back from running as president, and he has done a speech to address the nation over this matter and why he is now supporting Trump. I listened to his speech and. I really think people need to hear this. As I have mentioned, I do really um, like Robert F. Kennedy. However, there is something in my gut that says, be careful. I said that in my last video. Listen to this video with an open eye. He says the truth in this video. He is no liar. He says the truth. And of course he can only speak about the present situation. He cannot speak about how the Republicans would have done or Trump would have done under the same circumstances that Biden was president under. Would he have supported censorship as well? Even though maybe with Trump, I know he would have not uh, outwardly um, supported it, but he would have tolerated it. He would have just gone along with it because he went along with the pandemic stuff too. He only had Fauci just stand there and say everything and he just stood there like a clown really accepting it, not, not objecting to it. So I believe that of course this censorship, the wars, everything that's happening is not necessarily coming from a democratic party or even from Biden, but I think it is, of course, from the deep state, which is not only, deep state is not only behind the Democrats, but behind both parties. Hope you understand it. Watch my last four videos. If you are new, if you, if you have to understand the, the system that is in place right now, this end times system that is going to be destroyed very soon. It's extremely corrupt no matter who is going to be president. And I don't know about Kennedy. Is he just in that area a little bit gullible? You know, I want to believe that he's extremely smart, um, educated, and then I'm asking myself, does he know what's going on? Is he being used? Has he been bought out? Uh, these are the things that I am thinking about. Or does he really not know it? That both parties are corrupt. Yeah, we see the corruption of the Democratic Party. And is it, is it possible that they are making them so corrupt to give the win to Trump? I don't know. But this whole thing is a game anyways. It's nothing but a game. Yes, Kennedy is right. So many others. I, I listened to the comments that the Democratic Party is has been hijacked. And the values they are right now presenting are not the values of the used to Democratic Party. They're just the opposite. That's what K 
Kennedy is saying all the time, too. It's just the opposite. That's why he left the party. And Biden is just running on these false assumptions that have been in the past correct. You know, we are defending democracy. They have a long time been overturned, especially Biden overturned them. Freedom of speech, um, anti-war, these are all principles of the Democratic um, Party. Working class. See, they're always stressing the middle class, the middle class, the middle class. No, the working class is not necessarily the middle class. They're the lower people. The blue collar were always the lower class. And yeah, I can see that now the workers or the, yeah, get a lot of money, but there's still a lot of people that just the general working class. That's what the Democratic Party was for. The struggling working class. And that has not been that way anymore. Oh no, we're protecting the middle class. Yeah, but the middle class really is more the white collar, upper, let's say, upper middle class. Things have changed. But you need to watch this. He says everything right. There's no lie. But one thing he doesn't know, or he doesn't come out and say it, because now he's going to the other side. Yeah, he knows he's not going to win. And he is trying to at least make some difference and says, oh, I have more in common with Trump than I thought. And that may be so, because Trump is talking, uh, you know, is, is lying too, really, basically. He's lying too. But yeah, maybe things have changed. But once you get to politics, it's all the same. Still all the same because every politician is under Babylon the Great. Bows to Babylon the Great. Doesn't matter how. Blackmailing, money, whatever it is. All bowing to Babylon the Great at the end. So... I thought that was important, and again, people have, may have supported Robert F. Kennedy. I understand why, because, yeah, if I would be a worldly person, that's where I would be going, or would have been going. And again, now he is bringing these voters that supported him over to Trump, most likely. And, okay, again... If I would be a worldly person, I would say, sure, we have to vote for somebody to protect or to save our, I don't want to use democracy, but our federalism, our, yeah, federalism, that's what it is. Yes, I do agree with that. But you already know that I am not trying, I'm not trying to be a worldly person. I am trying to get away from this world or detach myself as much as possible. At the end of this short video, I want to give you time to watch Robert F. Kennedy Jr., I want to read from 1st John 2, verse 15. Do not love the world or anything in the world. That includes politics. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Now, what is the world? The world is everything that exists 
is actually made by humankind. It does not mean nature. It means whatever human beings created. And of course Satan, because Satan is the ruler of this world. Especially Satan. Everything in this world, all political systems, are because of Satan. The world and its desires pass away, but whosoever does the will of God lives forever. These are the people, the wise virgins in Matthew 25, who have the oil. They have detached themselves from this world. In my next video, I will talk about more about the rapture again and how we need to prepare right now for the Feast of Trumpets when this is going to happen. Not this year. I'm not, I don't know if it's this year, but one of these years it will happen exactly on the Feast of Trumpets. Could be this year. But people, I needed to do this video because I want you to listen if you have not had a chance to listen to him because he tells you exactly what's wrong with our government. But it doesn't matter which side is on. Both sides have done exactly that. Even when government is in the hands of the Republicans, the same thing is happening. Or has happened. It doesn't matter. When Bush was there, do you think it was any different? No, it wasn't. Any of the Bush, both Bush candidates. No, it wasn't different. You think when Trump was uh, in, in, in uh, president, anything has or anything was different? No. No, the same thing. Very same thing happened. So anyways, listen to him. He's not a liar. He tells you the truth, what's happening. But again, you can apply the very same thing that's happening today to a Republican president. Now, the character of each president is different. Biden is an absolutely corrupt and evil person. That's why they picked him. People, this is why they picked him. Because Trump is not necessarily evil. He's corrupt, but he's not necessarily evil. They needed an evil candidate in place to push through the agenda they did during the pandemic. And Trump was hesitant. Now, will he be hesitant the next time? I think he will be prepared next time to do what he has to do because he already knows what he's going to have to do. So he will be a little more, or not a little, maybe a whole bunch more forceful next time. Coming to an end, let the Holy Spirit guide you always.